Hey guys, so Glossier came out with a couple of new cloud paint shades. We've got Dawn and Storm. Um, they're both, they look really beautiful in the packaging. And to be honest with you, if you've been subscribed to me for any length of time, Glossier cloud paints are definitely one of my favorite products from them. Um, they're kind of hard to explain, but they're almost like a gel formula that um, blends into the skin really beautifully and can be ve can be very uh, buildable. So you can go from like a very natural light blush to something a little bit more intense. Um, and after I kind of try one of each shade on each side, I'm also gonna swatch all um, six of the shades on my arm and kind of compare and talk about them a little bit. So after this, I am going to be filming a thrifted shoe collection out for that if you've been looking forward to fashion videos. I should also have another editorial video up this week, so you've got two more videos coming. Um, and let's just get into it. I just zoomed in quite a bit, obviously, so you can see the blushes. I don't know why I had to explain that. On in the packaging, uh, looks like it's gonna be kind of a deeper orange shade. Other thing is I will explain a couple of application techniques. Um, I have watched a lot of videos on Glossier products because I'm just kind of obsessed. And um, sometimes people have a little bit of trouble with application of these, so I will also give you like a couple techniques for that. I'm gonna start with Dawn on this half of my face. So two things, <laughs> one, where you apply it matters. If you apply your blush more on the apples of your cheeks, so kind of that area, that um, tends to give a much kind of more rounder face appearance. It tends to be, in my mind, a little bit more of like a cutesy blush application. When you apply blush kind of more back towards um, where you would contour and kind of up here, um, it can help to kind of give more definition to the cheekbone. The first method of application that I like is so I'm just gonna take Dawn and I'm just going to squirt <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger just a very very small amount these products go a super long way um, but the first application technique I like if I'm going a little bit more towards the apples is to just kind of do a few dots and then to just very gently and quickly tap 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 until you get it blended out. And already I'm seeing that this shade is very pigmented and much darker than a lot of the shades that Glossier already has. So that's interesting. I could have even applied less now that I'm looking at it. So on my skin tone, which on camera always looks lighter, I am more of kind of a medium skin tone, medium to tan. Um, this shade is pretty dark. Um, I think it's very beautiful though. It's a very, very um, cute and orange and beautiful. Um, is this my favorite shade on myself? No, but um, I think that this shade, especially on deeper skin tones, is gonna be fucking beautiful. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's very pretty. It actually looks very similar to the cap. Like, it looks like a beautiful, vibrant orange. Dorm is another, again, deeper kind of cranberry shade. And now I'm going to do the other application method, which might be a little bit tricky with this shade because it is so dark, but I'm still <laughs> gonna try it so I can show you guys. Dorm, I'm going to kind of apply a little bit more kind of towards the back of my cheekbone because um, now that I'm looking at it on my finger, oh my God, I don't know why I'm holding my hand like that. But <laughs> Now that I'm looking at it on my finger, I mean, that's a really deep shade. It actually has a lot of brown in it. Um, so I'm gonna kind of apply it more as like a contour. So what I'm gonna do is just take my finger and just kind of tap. And then I'm just going to keep tapping. And as I'm tapping, I'm wiping the excess off on my hand. Because you need such a small amount, especially with such a deep shade. So again, I'm just wiping off any excess. Because I just want to show you how you don't need a beauty blender, how you really can just apply with your finger. You just have to very, very lightly and quickly tap. So hopefully, sometimes my camera can blow out colors, but you can see the orange kind of doing a more cutesy vibe on this side. And the, um, so sorry, I'm not using the names. Dawn on this side and Storm on this side. Storm 
on the skin is a really, really pretty kind of cranberry tone. And unsurprisingly, I love both of these shades. I think they're super gorgeous, and I think that I might kind of play with mixing them with some of the lighter shades to kind of um, just flatter my skin tone. Um, I don't know. These are really beautiful. There's not much to say. It's just that Glossier Cloud Paints are just super natural and beautiful, and um, they also give just a slight bit of glow, so I don't have a highlight on, and um, they look really pretty and natural. So I'm just going to stay this zoomed in and do the swatches on my arm. This is the shade Storm. So I'm not going to blend it out, I just want you to see the pigmented shade so you can really get an idea of how it looks. So it is a beautiful cranberry tone and it does to me look like it has a good bit of brown in it. So again, this is going to be a great shade to both kind of give definition to the cheekbone and give you that sort of rosy glow. I also really wanted to swatch haze next to it, so I'm actually going to do that just so you can see the difference. Um, I can already tell that Storm has, again, a lot more brown. This is much more of like a purple. Yeah, see, you can really see the difference. I swatched that terribly. Let me get a little bit more. Again, Haze and Storm. Um, Haze is much more purple and Storm has much more brown to it. On the other side of Storm, I wanted to swatch Dusk so we could also kind of do a comparison because Dusk um, currently was the one that I was using to kind of uh, more kind of contour blush with. So let's do that. It's so funny because now Dusk looks so light, but Dusk is a really pretty mauve tone. Sorry if I'm shaking, I drink a bunch of coffee <laughs> as usual before I film, so I'm kind of shaky, but um, next I'm gonna swatch the orangey shades. So first I'm gonna do Dawn. So Dawn to me is like a true bright, pure orange. So if you like orange blushes, Dawn is for you. That's super fucking pretty. Also on deeper skin tones, that would be stunning. So next to that, I'm going to swatch Beam. It's so funny because now they look so light. Like look at how light that comes off. Um, but Beam is a very vibrant coral shade. It's so pretty. Now on to, I think my personal favorite shade. It's called Puff. Um, it is a super light, um, girly pink. I just always feel very kind of like elfish, fairyish, very cutesy with this blush on. It just kind of makes me feel good and confident. So um, Puff is like your bubblegum pink. I never thought I would like that shade on myself, but I absolutely love it. So anyway, obviously I'm a huge fan. Um, I just think that this product is super versatile and um, generally pretty easy to use. Looks good on top of foundation, with no foundation on, whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm really glad they came out with some deeper shades that are going to work on a few more skin tones. If you would like 20% off your Glossier order, feel free to check out my wrap link. You don't have to use it, but it definitely helps me out. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!